Ever wondered what the old world looked like in colors? Well, like this. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Colorizing and restoring old black and white videos is something that VFX professionals do. It's a hard and time-consuming process, especially when it comes to entire movies. It's because they have to go frame by frame. A movie is essentially many still images played consequently at a high speed, and it's only our eyes and brain that create the illusion of moving pictures. A motion picture. Well, when it comes to colorizing and restoring videos and movies, what they do is essentially go frame by frame to touch up, enhance and colorize them, so in the end they would get a restored and colorized movie. Now, if it sounds complicated, it's because it is, but I'm here to show you a way where you can do this at home, though you'll need tools that may not be free. However, trying the process will for sure be. Know that this will still be a time-consuming process, but you don't have to do everything all at once. Let's see the process. Okay, so since we need to go frame by frame, the first thing we're gonna have to do is turn a video file into an image sequence, essentially exporting each frame as an image file. The reason we need this for our process is because we're not going to do the coloring in a video editor where we can go frame by frame. You can do this in most video editors. In DaVinci Resolve, for instance, go to the Exporting tab and select your image format, then select Individual Files here, the images will have the frame number in their name so things won't get mixed up. In our case it's not that bad, it's only a 10 second long video for demonstration purposes which will result in 240 images. So let's launch the process and move on to the next step. Now comes the fun part which is also the time consuming one. Colorizing all of the images one by one. While it might sound crazy, the process itself takes only a click just have to repeat it many, many times. On a professional level, colorization works by going frame by frame and highlighting color areas, for example, the sky, clothing, skin color, nature, and the computer will fill it up with the color. Then these colors can be further adjusted until everything is perfect. The colorizer in Photoshop works in a similar way, which on a professional level gives the artist more freedom in colorizing an image or frame of a movie. But doing it the professional way also racks up more time within the process. And <laughs> unless you're getting paid for it or you're madly dedicated, I doubt that you would go down that road. Instead, let's try a tool that does this process automatically with AI and only takes one simple click. We're gonna use the Uniconverter. You can grab the tool from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Let's open it up and then click on the AI Image Enhancer tool. Now, this tool requires credits, and obviously you'll need a lot of them, but it will make this job very easy. So, import your first frame here. It will apply the AI Image Enhancer function right after importing, which actually comes very much in handy for these old images, but it makes the process two times slower, so for the sake of our workflow today, we will skip that part. Though taking note of that, because it's very much advised, since our film wouldn't only be colorized, but also enhanced, which is really cool. But we're going to move on from it without saving to the old photo colorize function and wait until it processes it. Okay, now you'll have to excuse me, I have about uh, 239 images to process, so see you later. Hey guys, a bit of an intervention here. So I ended up enhancing all the images as well, which means that it took me about twice as much time as I was originally planning on spending on this process. But it was worth it because the overall quality um, is better now. Okay, now let's get back into the video, but then I will interrupt you again because I did do some extra color grading in Lightroom and then in DaVinci Resolve that I want to talk about. Okay, so quite some time later, I have all of the frames of this 10 second long video processed. So now it's time to turn them back into a piece of motion picture. This works pretty much the same in all video editors. You'll have to import these images as an image sequence. But the thing is that if you import the image sequence as an image sequence, not, you know, the frames on the timeline one by one, you can't um, edit or color grade the frames one by one anymore. But I did need to do that because the overall result was not perfect yet, not perfect to me yet. So what I did is that essentially I imported all the images on the timeline one by one. But before that I worked on one frame in Lightroom to get one frame that looks really good in terms of colors. Then in DaVinci I shot matched all the other frames 
to the one reference frame that I created, then there were some frames, many frames that were more bluish than the others. So I fixed those separately. And then as an extra, I did some extra color grading to get my uh, final result. And then I had to combine them into a compound clip, then change the speed to 10 seconds as the original clip. So I did much more work to this 10 second clip than you would have to with other clips, for example. But yeah, that's it. Uh, let's get back to the video and finish this up. Okay, let's take a look. Looking really nice, no? Now, as an artist, I do have to mention that while black and white used to be the only option many, many years ago, when colored film was invented, it became a choice, an artistic one. When it comes to movies, black and white cinematography has its own artistic values and the same film in color would not necessarily carry those. You have to do everything differently. So while the majority of people naturally prefer and enjoy movies in color over black and white, color won't make everything better in certain cases. So sometimes they're just better left alone. Of course, archive footage of past times is always nice to watch in color or those recordings where artistic inputs were not involved, on the lack of a camera that records in color. It's nice to play around with it nonetheless. All right, that's all for today's video. I hope this was interesting. It for sure was for me. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you agree. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one, guys.